Hello YouTube. I received today something from AKK Technology and I'm going to show you. It's a camera called CA20 and it's here and TS TA TS5828 600 milliwatt transmitter. So let's see what's in the box. It's well packed, as you can see. This is the camera and some cables, standoffs. more cables probably this is video and video output and power and manual <clears throat> okay let's see it's wake wait what's wrong now with this Have issues with the battery. There. Camera is twelve point four grams, and the cables and standoff and everything is another twenty two grams. So that's the camera. Now let's see the transmitter. What's in the box? <clears throat> this is 600 milliwatt transmitter, 32 channels. Uh, let's bring it a little bit closer. And it's only 7.1 grams standard antenna and some more cables seven point three gram of cables and manual. Now I'm going to hook that up and test the picture and the transmitter. Okay, <clears throat> first I'm gonna test the camera. I have connected it to TV so I can get a clearer picture. This camera comes with a handy little controller which enables you to go into the menu and adjust a lot of stuff. So by pressing this button you are entering the menu. And here is the menu. Uh, this camera is loaded with a bunch of uh, settings and really I don't want to pass through all of them. I'll just show you how it uh, looks like. So to control the, the menu you go up and down and to select something uh, like this exposure has an enter key so you have to press the press the button to enter that sub menu you have a shutter speed brightness agc dwdr and return uh, to change the property you use left and right so if i go right i change the shutter speed and this is probably for extreme light conditions I'll just leave it on the auto uh, lens can be manual DC video whatever white balance several settings backlight day and night DPC and some special <coughs> functions special functions are 
camera title so you can put your name here let's say I put my name and choose the position of that OSD so all the time you'll have your name <coughs> during video recording or flying or whatever motion detection privacy is for I don't know for probably for something park line if you're gonna use your camera with a car I think it's for parking or whatever because it turns on something like this so maybe you can use it for flying or for something else image adjustment another sub menu as you can see by the enter key so there's a lens shade DNR mirroring can mirror the image vertically font color contrast shapeness display type uh, negative image that's it uh, comb adjustment comes from something from speed of uh, communication I don't know where to use it protocol display ID if you want a camera ID to be displayed all the time position also like with the name you can choose the language you can see the firmware version and let's go out and finally you have a reset function that will reset everything to factory default okay so the picture of the camera is really nice colors are nice this is all factory settings it reacts on sun and on on uh, light changing very quickly as you can see and uh, I'm looking forward to test it on the flight this is really awesome little camera I mean it's so lightweight with bunch of settings you can do on it really surprised me surprised me very well and probably you can get a better picture by adjusting some settings I will leave it all on the factory settings and fly like that for $20 camera this is really awesome really awesome you can find the specifications in the link below the video and where to buy them those little cameras okay next time we're gonna do flight tests